hello everyone and welcome back to my channel i am just doing a quick vlog for you all i have no makeup on my hair isn't done and i don't have my engagement ring on but i still want to do this video for you because i just got my first anomaly package i actually haven't shared this with anyone but i am getting my wedding dress custom made by anomaly anomaly is an online wedding dress customization design company they make wedding dresses uh, they work with you with a sketch of your design then you agree and pay for a sketch to be made and then they sort of walk you through the process of making sure that that sketch comes out the way you want it in an actual wedding dress. And so I'm excited to document that experience. This is my first time ever getting anything custom made. And Anomaly is online. I believe they're based in San Francisco or some other place in California. So I can't actually go there to be fitted and to choose. Instead, and the majority of brides do do this, is that they send you <laughs> the things that you have to choose from. So the fabrics or the lace or whatever else and you choose it from the comfort of your house and then send in your decisions that way. So I do have my first package um, after agreeing and paying for my sketch to be made. And one, I wanna say this package in pink is really cute, I love that. Here's everything that came into the package. So oh, not everything, there's some more here. So the first thing I'll show you guys is this like folder. So this is Anomaly on it. It has two fabric swatches on it. One is a tool startup mock-up. It's in the color soft white. and um there's actually oh wow okay so there's actually two three fabric layers on this i i don't know why that is maybe it's showing you that there will be two layers up to a fabric and then the white color not sure but that's this and then the second one is a tool stack up oh it's called two st stack up so it's meant to show you the three layers of tool. This is ch in champagne bubbles. It's a more yellowish color compared to the soft white champagne bubbles right here and the soft white right here. And then there is the fabric poly crepe right here. Or is it pronounced crepe? I know the French dessert is pronounced crepe, but I don't know if the fabric is pronounced crepe as well, or crepe, but in any case, this is the crepe fabric in a poly, a poly crepe R-type soft white fabric. So the fabrics against each other is right here. I want to say my favorite is the either the tool stack up soft white or the crepe. I don't know if my if I should do a crepe design, but um, in terms of color, it'll be one of the two soft whites. I don't want anything that looks yellow. Sorry, being a bride is like the only time that you could wear white, so. Well, you can always wear white, but the first time it's okay to literally wear all white. And so I'm milking it. But yeah, that's pretty cool. And these fabric swatches kind of got bent up in the packaging. That doesn't bother me, but may bother some of you. I don't know. And so the other things that I got in the Anomaly package are these actual like garments i did some research um and when i read up on how they get the custom gown to fit brides exactly without you know seeing them in person it is with these these are I believe a shirt or dress i don't know if these are three different dresses actually they look like the three different dresses this one is called the lauren this one is called the morgan and this one is called the Jacqueline. So I guess they help with 
size so maybe they're different sizes and shapes perhaps and then these are the clips that you would use to sort of clip in the fabric so that it fits you correctly it comes with a tape measure so these are the gold clips and it comes with a tape measure and um let me just open it uh here's just a fun oh Oh, they're doing a gift. This is just a phone thing that holds, you know, you hold the phone in your hand with one hand. It gave you this for free. That's cute. I personally don't like these. I don't like the look of them, I should say. So I won't be adding them, but that's super cute. This is also, it looks like elastic that they gave you. Not sure why, but <laughs> that's elastic. And then there are four gold clips. Four gold clips and a tape measure all say anomaly that's all pretty cool to me i'm gonna just grab my phone so that i can read to you what the actual email the anomaly sent me about these items because honestly i should have looked it up before i did this video but i didn't i was just so excited but let me go grab my phone and read it to you okay so i grabbed my phone and the email that they says hi trina we just put your fit kit that's what it's called. In the mail, your tracking number is blank. Here are the next steps once you receive your package. So step one, review your fabric samples and visit your dashboard to confirm the lace and fabric choices. So that was what was in here with the swatches. I am most likely going to go with the tool start up side the tool stock up soft white but I'm gonna talk to my design stylist a consultant who kind of worked with me and has been working with me and will be working with me throughout this whole design process like what the difference is between the two and like how does that change the look of the dress and if you are thinking of using them or any other design company uh, you can definitely come up with a complete sketch from off the top of your head, just something that you've imagined. Or you can do something like what I did, which is that I went to several stores, too many stores, tried on a bunch of dresses, fell in love with one, but it was a little different from what I thought I wanted. I still like it, and so I decided that I was going to design a dress similar to that one with slight tweaks and it ends up being um, a lot cheaper than what I was gonna buy it for. So it's like a win-win. Anywho, well it's a win-win because you get like your own custom dress that no one else owns and for a cheaper price. Okay, so that's step one. Then step two is to complete your at-home try kit, which is these stuff right here. And you can find your fit kit and measurement instructions here to improve your fabric swatches to make your measurements there. So, okay, that's what I'll be doing next. And then they give, uh, they send a link to the instructions on how to do it. Do front, side, and back. I'll just show you all the picture of that. Is it going to focus? Yes. So I'll have to clip. My mom will have to clip that for me. And then we will send you two to three sample garments based on your custom dress size selected during the payment. Okay, so yes. So I submitted what my dress size is via when I paid, but they sent me like two to three samples that are close to it just to get it because wedding dress sizes are different from street sizes. So you input your street size, but of course, you know, that may differ based on the wedding dress maker or fabric and so that's why they sent three and to try on the sample patterns choose the best fitting one clip anywhere it is loose and take several photos so i will definitely do that and they do have a 299 fit guarantee so that means that like they are committed to designing a dress that is very close to your body even without seeing you that's pretty cool i have heard bride saying that you know their dress still needed a lot of alterations so that's it for you all i will try to vlog me trying on the garments if i can my mom doesn't know that i'm designing a custom dress she thinks i spent way too much on this wedding i really haven't anyway um i'll try to get her to do that i'm just reading a new email that they're saying that i have to choose my favorite lace 
by uh, November 15th, which is soon. Today is the 10th that I'm recording this video. That's fine, okay. That is all that I have right now. If I do get to film my mom cooking me up, I will include that footage here. So this is the first sample dress. As you can see, it looks, it honestly looks like a cute dress. I matched it with a headband just for fun. And I gotta say, this is a cute little going out look if it was a little, longer but anyway in terms of the fit i think this is a little close for me the waist is like exact minus my big belly the waist is like exact just a little here that could be gathered but honestly i honestly feel like it's fine it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be tighter i also have not zipped it up yet because i can't i can't zip it up i'm trying to on my own without bugging my mom yet but yeah this is how the first one looks this is the jacqueline i have two more ones to try out and i'll see if that fits better or worse than this okay so i have on the second garment right here this one feels a lot looser than the other one way more comfortable in my opinion i think that it also is a close fit like you can maybe gather a few material here or there but it's really not that bad the other one felt tight so like i don't know the other one felt close this one feels like a perfect fit just you know tuck it in here or there yeah and i got it to zip up which the other one I couldn't, so that might be a sign. So this is the last dress that I have to try on. This is the Lauren. The second dress that I just tried on was the Morgan. And this one is definitely the loosest of the three. It's so interesting. I didn't know that I tried them on in like size sequence, but it's true. Jacqueline was the tightest. Morgan was just right, slightly loose, but comfortable. And then this one, the Lauren, is the most loose. And you can sort of see how it how it looks on my body. Like you can tell that this is the loosest dress on me based on, um, well, let me know. What do you think? I definitely know how I feel, but can you tell there's a difference? Let me know down below. Okay, so I'm going with the Morgan dress. I just feel like this fit me the best without being too loose or too tight. I honestly felt like Goldie left trying on these dresses. But yes, the first one was too tight. This one is the Morgan. It's just right. And then the last one was the Lauren, which was too loose. I think that like this is my exact size. Like I can wear this out just like this. I may clip these areas because there is loose fabric here. But honestly, if my dress came like this, I wouldn't have a problem with it. Like it fits, like that's fine. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and clip those areas. This is unnecessary to clip here. Doesn't need to clip back there, which is good because I always have that issue. Nowhere else really needs to be clipped besides here. But yeah, this is the Morgan. So I'm gonna clip myself up, ask my mom to take the pictures and submit it. And that will be the end of my at home try on kit. So I just tried to clip the dress here. This is the only area that I feel like it needs to be clipped. I'm gonna ask my mom to straighten them up because right now they're not straight i do have two clips left that i thought about putting here but um i honestly tried and it's like i'm not clipping any fabric like it's not much so i think that i'm just gonna do this area and be done with it because it's basically a perfect fit like this video if you want to see more videos of my wedding dress design process also subscribe if you want to see more videos by me in general i do have some other wedding related videos coming comment down below any questions that you may have about anomaly as a company or about my my experience working with them if you're interested and i will see you in my next video